Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. Today, I have something a little different for you. We're going to try a Stratomatic baseball game using the Stratomatic PC um, game. And we're going to try to see what happens. Well, we're going to see what happens when a team that's fairly good at bunting does nothing but bunt. So uh, to do that, I am going to take the 1982 Pittsburgh Pirates, and we're going to do a 1982 game, National League. Let's see, National League. Uh, as you can see, the Pirates, uh, or as you're about to see, the Pirates are fairly good um, at bunting. And I wanted to pick a team that would be fairly good. So you've got Omar Moreno leading off. He's a bunting A. Johnny Ray is a bunting A. I put this uh, Jay Smith guy. I'm not sure who he is, but I put him in for Parker um, at third base because he is a bunting B. Or I put him in for Madlock. Sorry, I put him in for Madlock because he's a bunting B. Then you got Thompson, who's a D. I mean, I couldn't get all good bunters. Davis is a D, and then you got Barra, who's a B, Lacey, who is a C, and Pena, who is a C. Now, as teams go, as complete teams go, the 82 Pirates are as good as you're going to see, I guess, um, as a bunting team. So we are going to set it up so that we are playing another 1982 National League. And you would want to take a National League team, too. Not an American League team, because they are less likely to be good at bunting. So uh, we're going to go here. We're going to go, let's see. We're going, I think you go new unscheduled from here. Let's see, league. New unscheduled, there you go. So we are, and I will we'll be the visiting team, that's fine. So let's go down to 1982. We'll go to the 82 National League. We'll get my... Pittsburgh Pirates, um, the human manager, and then we're going to go to the um, 1982 League, National League, and we will go to the Houston, I will play the Houston Astros, I mean, I don't really care, um, we're going to do, they're going to be the computer, and uh, We'll set this up to be a game in July 7th, uh, day game. So, um, let's see here. We've got Baumgarten pitching for us, uh, who I know very well from the 1979 White Sox team. Uh, Pittsburgh, human, computer over here. So, I think we are all ready to go. I am going to turn, the, well, the, time, the sound is already down, and hopefully it's not recording. It shouldn't be recording the sound anyway, so we're going to go play ball. And remember, every, every batter, every time, I'm going to bunt. I'm not going to do anything else but bunt. Going up against Bob Nepper. And so we're going to say bunt for a base hit. And there's the pitch. And he's out. And then we're going to say bunt for a hit. I got this idea because I saw something online where somebody took, um, I think, like one of the uh, EA Sports baseball games and they did the same thing. They just, all they did was bunt. And we're going to bunt for a base hit with Jay Smith. And that's an out, and we went one, two, three. So we go to the next inning, and uh, here we're just going to uh, – 
oh, we're just going, why would it, I thought that Houston, it, I guess it doesn't matter whether I'm controlling Houston or not. But I thought the computer was controlling Houston. Should have been. Um, we'll throw for the runner. I mean, I don't know. Doesn't really matter. Win, win, win or lose is not necessarily important here. I just want to see what happens if every batter tries to bunt. So now you got Ray Knight with one down and a man at third. And that's going to be a, looks like a pop out. And now Julio Cruz is up. And he's going to hit a home run. So Houston is ahead 2 nothing. And Garner is at the plate, and he is out. So here we are. We're up again. I am going to try to bunt for a base hit. And we're down. Whoa. Now, see, he got, he got as far as second on that, and he's a debunter. Stay with the bunt. I mean, that's the whole point of the experiment. And he was out. And so now we are going to, let's see here, squeeze the runner home, I guess, is what we have to do. And we're going to do a safety squeeze. And we scored. So we've got it now it's two to one and now we're just going to try to bunt for a base hit. Oh wait a minute. Bunt for a hit. And then Lee Lacey is up. I'm gonna bunt for a hit. With two down here in the second, top of the second. And he is safe. He's safe at first, and now we're going to... Well, I guess there are going to be situations where we can't bunt. Because it won't let us bunt here with two outs and a man on. So, I guess we're just going to hit away. So, I guess we can't do this completely by doing nothing but bunting, but we will bunt in every situation where we possibly can. All right, so now we're going to swing away with Art Howe. Again, I don't know why the computer decided to relinquish control of Houston when I said I wanted the computer to control Houston, but it is two to one in the bottom of the second. And Tony Scott is up for Houston and he's going to be safe Lewis Pujols is up with one out and a man at first and that's going to be a fly to center Moreno gets it and Bob Nepper is the batter And he is out. So now we are back to bunting for a base hit. Bunt for a hit. We're in the top of the third. Baumgarten is up. And maybe I said don't bunt for a hit there. I don't know. And he got aboard with that bunt. And so we're going to say yes. We want to bunt with Moreno. Stay with the bunt. And he moves Baumgarten over to second. And now we're going to try a bunt again. 
And now again, it won't let me do it, so we're going to have to swing away with this J. Smith guy. And it looks like he's going to fly out. No, he trapped it. So we got a tie game. Now we technically got the tie game without bunting. And again, we're going to have Jason Thompson up and we can't bunt with him. So this really experiment didn't really work out, out quite as well as I thought. But there's no way to override it when it doesn't give you any bunt options. So we do have, but we do have a tie game with Houston still. I mean, that's still pretty good, two to two. When Houston is, I've got Houston playing on the level and I've got uh, Pittsburgh bunting almost every time that they can. Of course, in real life, you could bunt no matter what if you wanted to. There would be nothing, you know, nothing preventing you from bunting. And uh, but the, th the drawback with the, with the card and dice version of the game is that it doesn't let you bunt for a base hit. It only, it only has sacrifice bunts, I believe. So anyway, uh, we have Dick Davis up and we are going to, again, try to bunt for a base hit. We're in the top of the fourth. And at times, there you go. And at times, I may actually um, not put up the Houston uh, part of the, uh, in the video, I may get rid of the Houston part of the, um, uh, uh, you know, of the bats for Houston, because especially if they don't score anything, because that's not the purpose of the video. So we will do with one out, we're going to do a safety squeeze. And it's a double play. They doubled them off. All right. So anyway, we're back to swinging away. But yeah, in, in some, some, some upcoming innings, if Houston doesn't score, I'll just not put Houston's at bat up. Makes the video shorter, and uh, it's not the purpose of the video to see if 82 uh, Houston can beat 82 Pittsburgh, which I'm sure they could. And uh, the batter's safe, so there's two on with Tony Scott up and one down and two runners on. And Pujols is up with two down and two runners on. Lewis Pujols, not uh, Albert. So that was an out, and now we're back uh, to batting in the top of the fifth. And, of course, again, we're going to do the bunt for a hit. And we're in a 2-2 tie with Houston. Almost exclusively only bunting, although uh, when we get to a third out, it won't let us do that. Uh, while a third out with somebody on. It won't let us do that. And so we get nothing there, and we go to the bottom of the fifth. And the reason I'm not going to do this with Houston, the whole bunting thing with Houston, is because they're not necessarily as good a bunting team as Pittsburgh is, and I don't want to do the experiment with a team that's not very good at bunting. Um, because that kind of defeats the purpose. You want to see if a team was good at bunting, how many runs could they do score or how, how well could they play? Dick Davis is back on this ball, but it's gone. Baumgartner gives up a two-run home run. And uh, now we're losing 4-2. to two. Again, though, we scored two runs almost exclusively. Well, one of the runs was scored by uh, somebody getting a base hit and trying to uh, get a legitimate base hit, but um, still we have two runs. And uh, I may replace Baumgartner in a minute here. I mean, he's tired, and the tired Baumgartner is not good for anybody. 
Uh, there's only one out. All right, I'm going to go get him. Uh, we're the visitor. Let's bring in Enrique Romo. No, we're not going to bring in Enrique Romo. Oh, yeah, we are. Yeah, we are. All right, so he should be able to get some uh, mileage. And he allows a base hit, and uh, we're going to throw for the lead runner because we're trying to bunt, so we're not going to score a lot of runs. And they scored three runs there, so they've got a th they've got another run. Thought they had some other runs. Anyway, they are scoring up a storm here. And Tony Scott with a base hit. So the hit parade is going on. They're now ahead six to two. And that looks like that might be an out. And it is. So now we're going to start going back to bunting again. Bunt for a base hit. I mean, we only have two hits, and one of those was on the level. The guy was really trying to, you know, get a hit the regular way. Oh, I've, oh man. I forgot. I didn't bunt with Jay Smith. With Jim Smith. Whoever Jim Smith is, I don't even remember him. And then Thompson, and we will try to bunt for a hit. And he is out. Okay, we're up in the top of the seventh. We got Dick Davis up. And again, we are going to go back to bunting for a base hit. Again, we only have two runs and two hits. With a team that's fairly, again, fairly good at bunting. And trying to see what we can do if, if that's all we did. And trying to bunt for a base hit with Lee Lacey. And he's out. So we're going to the bottom of the seventh. We are in the top of the eighth. Tony Pena is up. We are going to be bunting for a hit. Nothing new there. Again, we have two hits and two runs, doing nothing but bunting with a fairly decent bunting team. Romo might as well let him just hit because there's nobody else on the bench that's really a good bunter anyway. So we might as well just let the pitcher um, hit and bunt for himself and Moreno bunting. And he is safe. And so we will, and again, we can't do that. Um, we can't bunt now because there's two outs with a man aboard. So we have to try to hit away with Johnny Ray. And that's that. And we've got Art Howe up in the bottom of the eight. There's two down. And Lewis Pujols is up. And he's out. And so now we are back in the uh, back up at the plate. Top of the ninth. We have two runs and three hits. Um one of those hits is a regular on the level hit because again the game does not let me bunt with a man on and two down we're going to try to bunt again bunt for a hit see if we can get another run somehow some way he's out and dick davis is up and he is safe and so, and again, we can't do that. There's two outs with a man aboard, so it won't let me bunt. So I have to try to hit on the level with Barra. 
and he walks him and the same thing with Lacey they're not letting me bunt so really the results are going to be even if we score it's going to be that's a wild pitch not going to be indicative of what would have happened if we had done nothing but bunting but it looks like he's going to be out and he is and so we'll go get the box score and take a look at the box score with us just bunting. We lost six to two. We had four hits, but at least two of those four hits were on the level, I think. Um, but this is uh, the box score for us when we were just bunting. Main, well, mainly bunting, not only exclusively because i couldn't in every situation but anyway four for 29 and uh two runs scored so that was a kind of an interesting experiment i guess uh that'll be it for me sportsman z bob zolke signing off